All right, in this particular tutorial, I just want to advise you on something that you should avoid when calling methods from some other classes and uh, which is, uh, we, you can still call some other method from some other class in that method. Uh, what I'm saying is that we had a main class here, for example, and the main class called a method from example four, which is method two in example four. And example four, called another method from another class example 5 example 5 method from example 5 and you can see example 5 is still calling another method like this print line from another class so you know this can go on and on and on and on in your uh, application development or in any kind of program you may be writing however you should avoid the temptation of you know returning back to a method that was already invoked in the stack so the stack here is uh, you know this method is one is on top of the stack then this other method is you know below the other methods uh, called stack and then this one is also a stack on below the other stack so you know it's, it's a kind of like a stacking calls upon calls of methods or should we say stacking invocations upon invocations of methods so assuming that uh, my main class invoked method 2 from example 4 and um, method 2 from example 4 invoked uh, example 5 method from example 5 and example 5 method from example 5 invoked method 2 from example 4 which in turn will still invoke example 5 method from example 5 and example 5 method will now come back and invoke method 2 from example 4 so what do you think is going to happen let's take a look at it so this is what i'm trying to advise you to avoid because if we do that if we invoke method 2 method 2 from example 4 so this is example force method 2 and uh, we let's just say we pass in this argument all over again so what do you think is going to happen so t just imagine what's going to happen uh this will go around and round and round forever and that is what we call a stack overflow error because it's the, the the java runtime environment is going to crash so this is something you really need to avoid doing so in order for us to test this out so that you can see the stack overflow error and actually that's where stackoverflow.com got their name if you know about stackoverflow.com so i'm gonna compile example5.java here we go say so compile then i'm gonna compile my main class.java because those are the classes of I will make changes to. Yeah, I'm gonna run my main class. So check it out. See what's gonna happen. You see. So this is a terrible situation. The the Java runtime environment has crashed with an error. Uh, we we are not gonna be able to see the error, but this is actually a Stack Overflow error because uh, this guy keeps calling method two from example four. And method two from example four still calls that guy again which in turn will still call method two from example four method two from example four will call that guy again and so on and so forth so you know you should make sure that whenever you are calling methods from another class which is calling method from another class you should make sure that you avoid it, you know calling back a method that is already on the stack so that you will not have a stack overflow uh, error so that's it with stack overflow error um i hope you've uh, found this informative don't forget to subscribe from our youtube channel and don't forget to check our website and uh, i'll see you on the next video tutorial